so now that I've got this marked, I'm actually going to use this mark on the outside and this mark. I've um, I've taped this on the outside of those marks as well. Again, I'm just trying to hold these pieces together. I could probably remove this one here. The nice thing about um, painter's tape is um, it's easy to, to pull so apart or what pull I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, my next piece and lay it where I'm going to see my my next wrap take place and start that. I like to use the same amount of wraps so um, I'll get it started. See how it's hitting the top piece right there? That's what I'm talking about. If you start to pre-bend your things then you don't have as much freedom when you start to lay down your wraps. You'll start hitting the other wires and that's a real bothersome thing for me. It's just It doesn't give you much room. You end up having to bend the little little wires into little pieces or fold them around just so that they can work with the project and you know sometimes you're gonna run out of wire sometimes you might only have this much wire after your one foot that you cut off earlier I'm making more bends and so you might need to cut yourself some more wire and again it helps if you're um, putting the wire wraps on there that you count how many you have I'm using fives on the side and then I'll lay down five here so if I haven't lost count in my head uh, that's three and then that's four and this is this is just working with wire after a while sometimes it just goes where you don't want it but you want a nice tight wrap and that's probably five and if you need to you can just flip it over and that's only four so I'll grab that and lay down one more. Hopefully this is coming out. The zoom level is enough for you to see this. If not, then you're kind of getting an idea of how it works. And if you need to push them together, do so, but just do so knowing that um, you might mar the wire. And if you clamp down, you're gonna give it a, a good solid place to stay. When you're cutting off the wire, Try not to do what I did earlier, which is just to cut it facing yourself so the wire will flip off and fly towards you on the floor. Sort of like mark in your mind where you're going to cut something and then face the whole thing down towards the mat when you make the cut so the piece of extra wire just doesn't come flying off and land someplace on the floor somewhere that you know, isn't in the working area. And then when you're done, I'm kind of a perfectionist, so a lot of times I'll file this down real good, but the, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm kind of not, I'm just kind of breezing through it because there's a lot of content here and I want to get to it. I don't just want to miss out on something because I spent four hours touching it up. And that's pretty much it. You're going to kind of feel the wire is going to want to move on you now. Once you got a bunch of these in there, um, you're going to start to feel like it's going to twist. It's going to naturally twist, but the good news is once you have these bends in here, you have the control to twist it however you want. So you can twist this thing left or right so it all keeps straight, and then you can keep doing bends. And we're going to put another one right there where we marked that right there, and I'll come back when I've done with that. Okay, we're back. So I've added the piece, on the second uh, wire wrap on the side to this piece and I've done so with both sides. So now we need to start thinking about how we're going to form the, um, the wire around the finished product. At this point we want to have the bottom centered and when we do so try to form the wire around the actual piece. So what we're trying to do now is we're trying to bend the wire to actually form in the final shape. And there's two ways you can do this. Both ways work great. But the way that I was taught and what I'm going to teach is the easiest way. Um, and by the way, um, 
If you don't get these wraps on the sides, just in the right place, when there's only four or five, I've mentioned this earlier, they have the ability to move a little bit. Okay? So there's Sorry, the ability to, to adjust the camera. It occurs to me that this whole time, I may have been having this thing out of the frame, like over here. And wow, I apologize if that's the case. I'm going to have to redo these over. I hope not. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to simply wrap the crap out of this using some of the thick um, tape that we've had. So we're going to center the piece at the bottom and then we're going to um, place the wire where we think we want it to be finally. Yeah, this is out of frame. Hmm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. hope I didn't do this for the whole video. And then we're going to wrap it. What we're going to do is we're going to form form where this is going to go. We're going to bend it a little bit so that it adheres. We're going to take some of that thick tape. This is out of frame. Wow. Hmm. We're going to take some of these thick pieces of tape and we're going to get them wrapped around the side. We're going to wrap this thing tightly. And what that will do is it will help us to know where um, these things are going to land when they get near the top. So we're just simply going around the whole piece. And while we're doing so, um, this is thick 18 gauge wire. You're not going to be working with 18. But if, um, if you're, you know, while you're going around, you can bend it with your hand. Just kind of bend it where it's going to go. And this will listen. The thick frame wire will listen to you and it's going to start to go and you, uh, where you're going to end up wanting it to go ultimately. And that will make it easier for you to use the, uh, the adhesive to, to, you know, the tape or whatever you use to tape it down and just kind of bend that. And then now you know where it's going. And then if these pieces, like the sides, look like they're just about right, you can leave them. If they look like they need to come down a little bit or up a little bit, you can still get a nail in there and move it. You can still move it. So that's something I thought I would mention. And you're going to want to do this with both sides. And you don't want to take it to the very top, but getting these bends in like this will really, really tell you where they're going to meet in the middle at the very top. So at the very top, now that we've got all these bends in, it's going to kind of look like this. Um, and now we're going to have to make some serious bends, which are the ones that form right at the top. And I've got this piece of tape in the way. So when I come back, I'll have moved this piece of tape over here so that it's not in the way. Because I need to make some bends in this area next. So I'll be right back.